Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. So, uh, this is going to be a couple pimp knives and a video response to a relatively unknown YouTuber named Gavco. Apparently makes giant knives or something like that. So, yep, I got a few ideas that I'm gonna I'm gonna show in this video for his uh, contest. It's a pretty cool contest, by the way. So first up, I'm just gonna show these real quick. Uh, just get them out of the way. So first up. Uh, they have a top knife. I'll write the name of it in the description so you can check out what it used to look like because uh, it's completely, completely different than it used to look, like 100%. It's a tops something. But uh, this is the black Sea Tech, uh, and inside of it in the skeletonized handle is a piece of moon glow. Kind of gives it a cool effect. Kind of looks like a little chamber in there with the zigzag or anything. Let's see if we can get the lights off of this real quick. Give it a sec here. Oh yeah, my, my camera, my uh, flashlight didn't die. So you got a little uh, little window in there. Looks pretty cool. I like it. It's definitely a cool look. Uh, and then the this knife used to be come up like this, and then straight, and then a little, like straight down and down. It had a very shallow V grind on it, like a just a really thick little like useless knife. So basically made it into a more useful knife for Mr. Uh, Mr. 90, oh, what the hell, 91 Whiskey I think it is. I'll put a link to his channel, he's a, he's a, he's a good dude, a really good dude, friend of mine. Uh, you guys definitely check out his channel. Um, just uh, He's got a lot of knowledge on knives, makes some decent videos, and he's definitely a good guy to talk to. So, so I put a little swedge here on the top. A nice groove down here for your thumb, which is rounded. Feels real nice. Um, brought the grind up pretty damn high. Took off a lot of steel. Reshaped everything on this thing. And uh, the black Sea Tech looks real sick with it. Very comfy. Very comfy like this as well. Now, I'm not going to fully sharpen it because uh, he is a. You know, I don't think I can get the knife sharp enough for him. I don't think anybody can. So, so that's the first one. And the second one for. For Mr. Jason, uh, he has this Gerber, not sure what it's called, but he wanted to look like uh, basically war-torn. This knife was a tough one, guys. So I uh, got the spear point here, which I sharpened the swedge. Thing is vicious. And you see it looks real beat up, with the acid dip, especially with the, uh, the stamp right here. Combat folder. See the, the signature just kind of faded away. It looks kind of cool. It's a little mistake here, but I thought it looked kind of—I don't know—kind of interesting. I might fix that. Depends on what he—if he feels it needs to be fixed. It's getting late, so I didn't want to uh, take too much—you know—much more time. But as you can see, the entire knife goes flush inside. Well, beyond flush, so you can have the the spear point on there without having to worry about anything. And it's basically the same on both sides, so you can use it in both directions cut and whatnot and OD green scales with the reptilian diamond pattern nice and clean nice and sandblasted replaced all the screws in the body besides the pivot uh, with better screws uh, took the backspacer out so it's a nice flow through design doesn't even doesn't flex as much as it used to even though the old one had a backspacer but there's no way to put backspacer in there so it's just nice and simple and it's very open flow through so you know blood can just go right through it So there you go guys, these are pretty sweet. I like the look of the Gerber, definitely looks really cool. So anyway, and Jason, I apologize for the quickness of the video, but uh, damn tired today. 
So, uh, I believe 18 by 3 was... I don't know what the thickness was, but it, I don't know. It was some, like, some pussy-ass thickness. So, I, you know, I, all I have here... Hang on, I'll see if I can get this in camera. You know, that I'm going to use for... Uh, you know, I'm going to send this to Gabco if I win. Just that. Uh, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of, of O1. So, I figured, you know, I'd go with... Uh, I'd send him some D2 if I did win. And I have an idea for the specific piece here. Oh, there we go. There, there it is. Oh, shit. There you go. Nice piece of D2 here. Oh, come on. There we go. What's the thickness on this guy? Ah, jeez. It's my little... I use this for EDC knives, you know, when I make them, design them. This is uh, about an inch and a half thick. So, yeah, Gabco, I'll be sending this one. It probably cost me probably about three three $300 to ship it. But, uh, you know, I mean, I can't deal with that thin shit you're using. Oh, crap. The whole body just freaking moved. There we go. Good. I'm gonna die if I drop this. Ready? Ooh, shit. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be <laughs> send this one in the mail for you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you guys. But yeah, this is a big piece of D2 though, I'll tell you that. Nice surface ground too. I use this because it's perfectly flat surface. But uh... <laughs> anyway, so no, for real though, my design uh, for Gavco's contest, uh, basically, I had a weird idea for it, something different, you know? I kind of... I was at the Army Navy store a couple weeks ago and I checked out those uh, K bar zombie knives. And I really, they had kind of hooked over at the end here, like a little pry bar or something. And uh, so I'm going brow style here. And I'll keep them on because they look cool. That's right. So, um, yeah, hooked around your hand. It actually felt really good for uh, swinging it around. It felt like real secure in your hand. So then, uh, you know, jimping all up top. A swedge for, this is the most pointless swedge ever on a knife, but it'll look cool. And then kind of just straight down, keeping the thickness all the way here. Straight down for kind of like that, you know, for chopping. Just a nice straight, no curve at all. I want to make it as challenging as possible for Gabco. So up top here, I'm going to have a chisel, right? And then right here to here, I want it to be flat around, full flat right there. And then from here to here, I want it convex. And then from here to here, I want, you know, saw, like serrations here. Um, then uh, right here, instead of like, you know, his logo, I want like uh, just some really small speakers um, and a, a uh, outlet here for my iPod that goes right there. So when I'm chopping, you know, like, you know, I can be listening to some music while I'm chopping. Um, I want the handles to be made out of uh, T-Rex bones or uh, meteorite, whichever one you can find first. Uh, you might find them kind of in close proximity to each other. Um, anyway, also, I'd like the handle to, inside of it, I want him to take his new Damascus Sabenza, basically, and, uh, you know, picture this, it's just cut it, basically, uh, you know, get, it, get your mill dude, you know, your CNC, and just, uh, you know, skeletonize, like, long ways, you know, so in half. Um, so you can uh, basically put a pivot right here and uh, take your Sabenza blade and uh, basically put it down in there right there you know and uh, you know make the one side into a lock so you're gonna have to put a titanium piece you're gonna have to take off one side so yeah that's what you're gonna do there you know Damas Damascus you know if there's anything left of it so you know you have a Sabenza in the handle as well which would be pretty damn cool uh, also some uh, you know these aren't actually you know screws I want the screws to be hidden um, and I want them to be made out of uh, unobtainium. So, uh, but right here, these are actually LED lights. So, uh, you know, when I got the music playing and I'm chopping, I want it to be like a party. So uh, basically that's, uh, yeah, that's what those are. So I want them to flash. And uh, I want the speakers, you know, well, I want them to sync up with, uh, you know, any music I play. So, you know, you know what I mean? So anyway, this jimping also is kind of like a chainsaw. And it, just like this, it goes kind of like right here and inside the blade there. And uh, 
you know, inside here there's some mechanisms. So it spins around. So basically if I get tired of chopping by hand or sawing, um, you know, I could just use the chainsaw. So, and uh, figure out how, how you would put a motor in here or something, I don't know. That's, that's for knife makers to figure out. Anyway, so yeah, that's, that's basically it. And uh, I'm gonna call it the piglet. Yep, that's how you spell piglet. I don't think I've ever spelled piglet before. So yeah, dude, I mean, that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be an inch and a half thick, D2, um, LED lights, iPod, uh, you know, actually, actually, right in the middle of this this grind here. So you must be be sawing here. You'd be chopping up here. So this won't be touched. So you might as well just uh, just put my. Uh, it basically, it's going to be like an iPhone case. So just put the uh, some way to slide it in right here. So you got your like apps and shit right there. So you're good to go. Yeah, you get a phone call. I guess the speakers up here. You know, they'll have to be like inset a little bit. You know. So yeah, you, it's like a phone too. And the sheath. Uh, Oh, the sheath. I don't know. If we can get human skin, I think human skin would be really cool for a sheath. Uh, preferably from, um, you know, Vance or something like that. You know, he's pretty useless, so. Yeah, a little stitching around there. Yeah, get the veins in it and shit. So, yeah, that'll work. So, uh, yeah, that's my design, the piglet. Uh, I hope you like it, man. I hope I didn't go past the rules a little bit too much, but, uh, you know, I think it'll be pretty cool. I'm just joking. But yeah, the basic design though, <laughs> before all the gadgets, I guess. I guess if you don't have the skill level to do it, you know, I'll just take the regular knife the way it is. But anyway, um... Oh, you want to hear a story about some trolling assholes? I have so many that go past... I mean, my phone is out there for everybody. Everybody can call me whenever the hell they want, so I get some weird shit on my phone. I had a guy call me, uh... He called me up and he said, hey man, what's up? And I'm like, hey. And then he goes, yeah, so um, I just got douched on real bad. And I just want to make sure, uh, you know, is it raining up there? And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, what the hell are you talking about? You get douched on? He's like, yeah, is it raining up there? And I'm like, what, do you live near me? Is it? Is there a storm coming or something? He's yeah, yeah, like I said, man, we just got douched on. And this guy was absolutely serious, like absolutely serious. And when I, when I was reacting, like, what the fuck? Like, he actually got upset and like tried to get off the phone. But I questioned him for a little bit, and I don't know who the hell it was, but it was the weirdest thing. Then I got people like, you know, hey, I'll show you my girlfriend's tits on Skype if you hit my knife. I'm good on that, guys. I got my ass in trouble with my girlfriend, so fuck you, whoever did that. So, uh, that, and then there's just the endless amounts of comments, um, the endless amounts of stupid, stupid shit. Um, just stupid shit. People, like, you don't know what they're talking about, like, commenting and telling me how they should do something when they don't know anything about it. I mean, you have a personal preference, but, like, I mean, uh, some some opinions should just be kept to themselves. And some people, stalkers, are really uh, creepy trolls, too. I think uh, a couple people know what I'm talking about, like, about that. But, yeah, as far as stories goes, nothing major happened. Just, just your typical daily shit. I mean just really odd. Since I started doing this, there's some really odd stuff goes on. I mean, I get texts from all sorts of people. Some people don't even, some people just send me jokes. Some people send me weird pictures. It's just, just absolutely, I don't know. It's very strange. I don't know. I, I couldn't explain it, guys. It just never stops. But, uh, you know, I've seen some of the shit that Gabco's gotten, like with trolls and, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I can't really think of anything crazy, too crazy, but except like, you know, phone calls and shit. Other than that, just people just speaking out of their asshole. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I win the piglet. You know, it'll be awesome, guys. Peace.